Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to part one of my let's play of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. It is midnight as I'm recording this. The game has the just come out. Keeps getting thicker. I loaded it up and the cutscene has started, so I will be quiet and we can watch the cutscene together to try and find out what's going on in this game. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Ooh, okay, not a cutscene. We are going straight into gameplay. Annoyingly, I need to bring up the menu and switch my camera around, as always. <laughs> Those that have watched me for a while will know that's uh, pretty common. Welcome everyone, the wait is over! It's been a long time waiting for this game. Don't know whether you've been waiting for a long time as well. There's a good chance uh, you have been. But now the game is in my hands. And there's a good chance a lot of you are playing it uh, as well. So, we don't know when this is set. There's a lot of speculation. Is it a prequel? Is it a sequel? People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going. With it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's My guess is it's a um, mystery. My guess is that it's a sequel. Just because, like, the way, like, I mean, I'm sure you've seen a bit of the trailers, so I've avoided most of the trailers. And when they did that big, like, presentation, if you saw it, where they went into, like, all of the gameplay, I didn't watch that. So I might be a little bit more blind than you. But the way the world's all destroyed of the Sky Islands, that makes me feel like this is a, a, a sequel. I've also just noticed how many hearts I have. And I'm pretty sure <laughs> they're going to take all of those away. <laughs> Which also makes me think it's a sequel, because they're probably all the hearts it's assumed Link got from the, uh, the shrines in the, the last game. And I got the Master Sword, uh, as well. Link! The Master Sword! It must be sensing something. I knew we had reason for concern. Ever since the end of Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. Uh. We must be careful as we move deeper. Okay, right. Tutorial time. So I literally was playing Breath of the Wild five minutes before starting this. <laughs> Getting myself in the uh, the Zelda mood. It's probably gonna be like the last time playing Breath of the Wild where it felt all like fresh because hopefully this game's way better and it'll be hard to go back. So I wanted to have my last time of the glory of Breath of the Wild before hopefully this one overshadows it. Link, look here. These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might these ruins be from the Zone? Zonai? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like Link once again isn't the uh, the talkative type. Oh, look at this. These carvings! I'm sure they're Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like these in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago, in a time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had prosperous civilizations in the sky. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none give us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. I don't know why it's, I don't know the way I'm facing it and then it's telling me to swing sword. I don't know what you're telling me to do, Nintendo. But I will not harm Zelda. Those statues there! Is this what the Zonai looked like? 
They seem so different than us, and such large ears. How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up beneath the castle? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. So yeah, we're deep under Hyrule Castle, by the looks of it. And there's a weird mist that's been causing havoc. And oh! Oh, the controls. One second. One second. I might have to play around with the, the controls. One second. There we go. Having the jump button, not on B, the bottom button, is just scandalous. And as I said... Ah! Diddle bats! Um, yeah, as I said... I literally just got a flame breath of the wild, so having the controls different would have been <laughs> really tough and I'd be continually hurt. getting them Are wrong. You, Link? Well, answer her. <laughs> it's so weird he just stares all the time. <laughs> Must be such an awkward person to hang out with. When well, they all kind of just like pretend Look like he does murals. talk. <laughs> The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> This is similar to the statues we saw earlier, a Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, Born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. This figure. He seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the Young Kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the Demon King. And a fierce battle against him. If the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... This mural must be the Great War recorded in the royal histories. This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Clink! This is a huge discovery. All right then, now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Oh, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Oh. Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. Right, what button was it to to get my old bombs out again? Let's let's blow all this let's blow all this rubble away. Oh, actually, I don't seem to. Oh no, pretty, no, don't don't throw away the master sword. Yeah, I don't seem to have my um any of my abilities like stasis and all the magnet one and stuff. As far as I can tell, I also don't seem to have my glider, which is unfortunate. Oh, I love this giant stamina bar though. Don't take away my stamina bar. Don't you do it, guy. I know you probably will. Don't make me go back to having the little puny inner circle again. I'm past that now. <gasps> what is this place? Let's continue, Link. But we must be extremely careful. Oh. 
What is that? Ugh, that's horrific. Good Mondays, am I right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll be quiet. I won't ruin the cutscene for you. Okay, generally a little bit scared. I might actually talk because it kind of makes it less scary if I'm talking to you. Because that is horrible. Okay! Port Zelda was a game for all. This is actually <laughs> really surprisingly scary. It's kind of more like the uh, the old Zeldas. When they were like kind of darker and uh, a bit more gruesome. Well, there goes my heart. This is how I get my infected arm. Oh, this is an awesome cutscene though. Ooh! Sliced him with the master sword. He won't like that. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Okay, this is like proper Zelda. nightmare fuel. You who carries that fragile sword, a link. Raru placed his faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? Okay, like this guy makes Ganon look like a little cute puppy or something. <laughs> the terror factor has gone up to 10. Now what's he doing? Oh, so yeah, because we're under Hyrule. Is that going to destroy the castle? And we are under this, by the way, if this collapses. We saw it take away all of my health. Did it take away the stamina? I mean, I'm sure it did. I mean, they had to find a reason to get rid of it, right? I was just lifting up the whole castle. Are we being lifted up in that? No, I think we're just underneath. In those catacombs still. Okay, they didn't... Didn't try to kill us. Maybe just because they saw we had the Master Sword. Even though it's kind of broken at all, Zelda. I don't have the glider. <gasps> okay, she did something, teleported or <laughs> she's okay. And oh yeah, that hand. So it looks like that was the hand that had stabbed him. I wonder if that was like a not like a past link, but like a past hero of the ages or whatever, you know? And I wonder if that's it's going to loop. I wonder if we're going to end up at the end being like a hand with the sword stabbed into him, you know? It seems like that sword was kind of keeping him contained somehow, that hand, sorry. Okay, not the, not the opening I was expecting. I will be honest, I was not expecting it to go that dark. I'm here for it though. It's exciting. We're all a bit older than when we played the, the last one. <laughs> Oh, I definitely feel a bit older since uh, <laughs> since playing Breath of the Wild. It's been a long way. It's been a very long way. Like, am I? Is that hand? Is like, am I going to put that on my arm? Is it going to like become my hand because I because it was like infected, or is that going to be like my like companion? Is that going to be my navi in this game? Oh yeah, no, it is. It's attached to, to my arm. I guess is that what's going to give me all of like the, the new powers, I'm assuming then, right? Sweet tats. <laughs> I wonder how many people are going to get that tattoo in real life now. Like, I think at least... I think over a thousand people in real life will have that tattoo by the end of the year. Just by how big this game is. Okay, maybe not like Link. the whole hand filled Finally in like that, weak. but at least a part of it. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. 
I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Wait, is that the hand talking? And the sword's all infected, isn't it? I do know that they, uh, they brought back weapon jaw ability, which I'll be honest, I wasn't, uh, that excited about. And now they've destroyed my beloved master sword. And look at my health! Oh well, it's an excuse to go do some shrines or dungeons or whatever it is in this game. I don't know if there are shrines. I'm sure there'd be like a, an equivalent, no doubt. Just all a lot higher up. Decayed Master Sword. The sword that seals darkness. Its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. So it looks like I can still use it. It just ain't a, ain't what it used to be. So can it still do the? Okay, I can't. I can't throw it, and I can't do the the ranged attack. But I guess I can just use it as just like a little little dagger thing. Okay, this is kind of looking uh, quite familiar. This isn't though. Is it? Oh, is this going to give me my first power? Was it like a teleporter thing? Maybe I should be patient and just watch rather than just just continue, continually keep guessing. Is it this? Is it that? Is it going to do this? Is it going to do that? It's like, you're going to find out in one second, Stabs. Just chill out. <laughs> do you know what I'm really looking forward to? Like, this has been a cool opening and all. But it's all been very underground and in caves and stuff, which is fine. I don't know what this thing here is. Oh, crouching increases your stat. Oh, okay, that's nothing to do with that. That's just because I crouched. Um, yeah, if you remember in the, the first game of Breath of the Wild, they all said that very iconic opening when you were... Uh... Oh, can I get up there? Oh, uh, yeah, when you arrive and like that first time you kind of go out the, the door. Oh, can I not climb? Oh, I can't climb yet. Yeah, I don't think I can get... Maybe if I come back later, I can go up, uh, go up there, there if I can. Yeah, the first time you kind of have it revealed and you see, like, all of Hyrule, like, out in the, the distance. I'm waiting for this game's equivalent, and it should be even more dramatic uh, with just how the landscape is. Oh, I guess I can climb. Is it going to teach me how to climb now? This ain't my first Zelda. I know what I'm doing here. So the controls seem very similar, like, same sound effects, a lot of the, the same UI, like all of the uh, the menus and stuff. Which is fine. Like, keep the stuff that worked. And then spend some time making some new stuff, which is what I'm excited to see. Hopefully we get our, our first new power soon, because, like, I've heard some conversations about people talking about the, the powers, but as I said, I skipped, like all of the demonstrations and stuff, so I've not seen them myself, so I'm still waiting to be uh, surprised. And finally! We can get ourselves some, uh, some clothes. Oh, the menus are a little bit different. Okay, so I've got, so this is just my inventory. And I guess I don't have a, uh, have a map yet. And here it is. Here's the big reveal. Let's see what the, uh, see what the world looks like. Go on, come on music. Music come in as well. No music. Oh, I guess it's when I drop is the reveal. So, I mean, it looks pretty amazing anyway. Loving Link's new hairstyle. His luscious locks. <laughs> but now, we jump. That's what I was waiting for! This is the moment I've been waiting for! I feel tingly in my tummy! <laughs> I got goose pimples! <laughs> oh man, I am so excited. As I said, I'm playing this like at midnight when the game came out. I've avoided any reviews, but I've seen it's basically got a 10 from everyone. And I was already looking forward to the game. But then I was looking forward to it even more after that. Oh, no 
one doesn't like Nintendo. Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, this is going to be an epic journey. It's going to be a long series. I hope you stick with me. My Breath of the Wild run, I think, I think we went over 100 episodes on, uh, ooh, 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 on, uh, on the first one, on Breath of the Wild. Don't know if we'll match that this time, but it's going to be a big journey. And it all starts with a soggy boy on a big lily pad. Right, let's uh, let's let's see what's going on. Let's see uh, what state the world has been uh, has been left in. Then, shall we? All right, I found a tree branch. Oh no, God! You know it's bad when the master sword does less damage than a tree branch. Oh, how the mighty have fallen! Uh, we've got some sky shrooms. These are new. A uh, common mushroom uh, that grows near trees on sky islands. Okay, I guess just because there weren't sky islands in the, the first game. So is, the, is this a continuation? So I, I'm obviously going to be very sensitive of spoilers, but for those that, that know, is this like, is this happening like directly after um, the events of, uh, of Breath of the Wild? Muscle is running low on air. Even when it's in this destroyed state and does like one damage, it still runs out of energy and needs to reach out. I guess it's it's a way how you always have a weapon. Like, you always have something that can hit things. Like you're never gonna not have anything. But that is still pretty uh pretty brutal. So how many slots do I have? Okay, so I've got an okay amount of slots for the very beginning. Because that's one of the the other things, obviously, in Breath of the Wild, is you're gathering up all the the Korok seeds uh, in order to get more inventory space. So I'm assuming I'm going to be doing the same or something, some sort of equivalent here. So keep a lookout for anything out of place and let me know if I go past it, so I can go back. Any any bushes or oh, this bush at the top here? I don't trust it. I'm going to go have a have a little look, sees. Okay, there's actually nothing in the bush, but I didn't really think there was. No, no glider still. Like, that's going to be pretty crucial. Like, more crucial even so than the, the last game. Just because of all of these, uh, these sky islands. And what are you? Hello. Is that a broom? A picture of? This lo this looked like the, uh, the enemy. These seems, like, different to all, like, the, uh, the guardians and all of the, the stuff in the, the first game. And not just because in the first game they were blue and these ones are green. Like, these look like they were made by, like, a different civilization. Maybe, like, the, the Zanis. Or Zanis, I think they were. Link, I have waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Ah. That awesome switch. Oh, someone's got a modder switch to make it look like that. That would be the coolest switch ever. This is the Purapad. So, I guess instead of the Sheikah Slate, we have the Purapad. It's funny because the Sheikah Slate was based off like a Wii U controller, basically, because Breath of the Wild was meant to be on the, the Wii U, so I guess this is the, the first Zelda game that was made specifically for the Switch, unless you account the uh, Link's Awakening remake. I am told it is an invaluable tool that will be uh, that will provide you with direction. Okay, it is just like the, uh, the Sheikah Slate. Also, it's now canon that uh, Link has no nipples, apparently. <laughs> I mean, Mario doesn't have nipples. You remember that controversy? I don't know why I'm talking about nipples. It's late. Did I, did I mention it's past midnight? Um, do you remember when Mario Odyssey came out? And it was the, you saw him on the beach. They never made a big deal about him not having nipples. Anyway, the Purapad. Uh, Princess Zelda's prize device. It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. Okay. Just like the, uh, the old Sheikah Slate. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. Okay, uh, I got my, uh, not my Sheikah Slate, my Pura Pad, Pura Pad. Hopefully I'm saying that right. You'll let me know in the comments, won't you? Uh, right, so we've got the Great Sky Island. So we can get an idea. <laughs> Oh my god. So, look, look at how bizarre. Like, this is the island where I was. I came out here and I've gone to here. This is that island. 
Then look at all of how big this is around here and how big this area is. And then look at how small that is compared to the rest of the world. God, this game looks absolutely bloomin' enormous. Anyway, let's go uh, touch this. Is this gonna make like a little bridge appear, it looks like? Looks like there's like a gap where a bridge could appear. Because I, I don't have my, um, my, uh, my glider, as I keep saying. So I'm gonna have to be, uh, I'm gonna be going by foot from now. Which is, uh, not what I'm used to, to doing. Especially as I said, I've come just from Breath of the Wild. So let's have a look -sees and see what else we can find. Hello, you seem to be new here. Be wary of soldier constructs as you travel this way. I'll keep an eye out. Our creatures gave them specific orders to eliminate trespassers. Be careful around them. My concern may be excessive, but I have one piece of advice to offer you. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. Okay, that's telling me how to lock on. You may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please don't actually attack. Okay, lock on works. Same as Breath of the, the Wild. We got some pots. Got anything in the pots? Gotta be something in these pots, right? We gotta get us myself some rupees. Oh no! I bet that was the one. I bet you know what I bet I bet Princess Zelda was in that pot. And I and <laughs> now I've, I've thrown her off the edge. I've soft locked the, the game for me now. I can't complete it because I threw <laughs> Princess Zelda and the pot she was hiding in <laughs> off the uh, off the edge. So I guess these are going to act like you know in um if you've played uh, Assassin's Creed and they always have like birds on the edge if you can uh, go and uh, like jump down from somewhere. It looks like those will be kind of like the uh, the equivalent. I tried to catch a frog there, but I failed. Okay, looks like we're in our first like proper like I say big in inverted comment open areas. So I definitely want to to keep a lookout for... Oh, wait, did that rock move or was that... Did it just bounce a bit? Was it because I had a frog under? Oh, no. Um, yeah, I definitely want to look out for, like, as I say, probably not Korok Seeds. There's probably something different in this game, but, like, whatever the the thing that you find a lot of is, because there is no doubt going to be a an equivalent. This is also going to be my first test of weapon durability. Like, obviously, these are, like, weak, rubbish weapons that won't last long anyway. But my problem with Breath of the Wild wasn't necessarily the durability, but just how, like, especially early on, like, how quickly everything breaks. You know, like, I don't want to be going through several weapons in, like, one fight. So, it looks like maybe, uh, let's have a little look down this way, shall we? Okay, it looks like I have, uh, wandered into the, uh, the direction I was meant to, to head into. And ooh, I've got something new! A toasty sky shroom! Uh, a simply grilled sky shroom. Oh, so this is just like... Because, like, it's next to the, the fire. Ah! I roasted that! But it's yours if you want. Thank you. Oh, I had not noticed before. You were unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Apologies! Among my tasks is to explain anything that visitors may require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. An example of a question you might have is how to roast food. This would be an especially good thing to ask me about. Um, I'll ask them, just in case anything's different. Ah, you're welcome to warm yourself by the fire. I encourage you to roast any ingredients that you have. Yes, I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. Uh, I am given to understand that roasting enhances the flavour. Roasting ingredients makes it more nutritious. Okay, blah 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 blah. Looks like this is all the uh, the same as Breath of the, the Wild. I've not found like an actual proper cooking pot yet. But you can always just kind of like place things like next to it. So tell me, if I just go and throw down a bunch of apples next to- Oh, did I not drop them? Hold, 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 hold. Uh, what's drop? Okay, oh, A's drop. Okay. If I leave these all here, get a bunch roasted. Just in case I do get into trouble. Like, the combat has so far been very easy. But like, I'm still deep in tutorial territory at the moment. What's up with my alliteration today? Um, <laughs> so, uh, there hasn't been much of a, of a fret. But it looks like... Uh, we have uh, arrived at the uh, the Temple of Time, so let's go up here and uh, see if Zelda's here. What was with Zelda's like magic teleportation, by the way? Can she just do that whenever she wants? I guess that's like not too dissimilar from what like Zelda can do, because uh, not Zelda, sorry, Link can do. But he needs no normally to be in like certain like places to to do it. She like did it while falling. Probably goes without saying, because you're seeing what I'm seeing, but the game looks beautiful. Also, probably goes without saying, because you're hearing what I'm seeing, like, the music has been lovely so far. Certainly not, like, completely unfamiliar. 
but certainly has its uh, its own kind of tone and style compared to the the first one. Uh, this is nearly breaks. So let's just get broken. Let's get rid of that. Got my first proper sword, a rusty broad sh uh, sword. Doesn't look like it's going to be the the best. I got my shield uh, as well. And right, let's uh, go into the uh, the old temple. Oh, no go. Not allowed in the temple, not with your <laughs> weird hand. <laughs> that door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. Then why did you sneak up behind me and then like it talk was I that right spoke there? To you <laughs> that arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? The shrines. Yes, I am sure they are the key. <gasps> Such big ears, Link! <laughs> That was a funny line when that was like, it's like this like giant majestic creature in front of her, this ancient race that like ascended from the heavens. And she's like, oh, such big ears. <laughs> but anyway, so I guess there are shrines, but now they look all twirly compared to how they were before. Uh, I guess I could, I don't really need to place a pin. I'm not going to miss that, am I, compared to everything else around it. Uh, okay, oh yeah, so there's some up there. So it looks like that's the direction I need to go. And I was doing like motion controls. Ooh, sorry, I made you all sick. Uh, yeah, it looks like that's the one they want me to go to first. Certainly seems to be the uh, the most accessible one. And uh, are they going to be marked on the the map? Oh no, just the uh, the Temple of Time is. Okay, maybe maybe I will. Uh, it makes sense just to kind of do all of my markers on the ones that I can see for now. Anyway, so let's go and do that one up there as well. Is that one like in the distance? Oh no, there's a bit. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go whatever that is though. It's like a giant like crystal ball thing. I'm still not sure how I'm going to do it, because I'm not very good at climbing yet, and I can't glide, but uh, I guess we will struggle our way up. And I'm assuming I'm going to get some of my fancy new abilities from the shrines, assuming this is like the uh, the Great Plateau in Breath of the, the Wild. Anyway, though, sadly, that this is going to be the, the end of this first episode here. Um, sorry, I know we were kind of still just uh, getting into it. Uh, but, I mean, like, I am gonna be uploading these crazy fast, so if you're watching these as these are coming out, like, get ready to have your <laughs> subscription speed <laughs> spammed, because uh, I'm gonna be basically uploading these as much as I'm playing the game, and I'm gonna be playing this game a lot, because, uh, yeah, seems like it's gonna be a, a good one. Um, so yeah, that will be the end of this one here. I'm gonna go to, to bed now, because it is uh, very late here, but I will check back with you in the next episode, and we will carry on the adventure, go to the shrines, and hopefully get some power back in that old arm of Link. So thank you so much for watching this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I will be back soon for episode number two. Bye!